All over the world, no one looks like you You can put a smile on your face You're beautiful You're beautiful Hello everyone and welcome to my channel so today we'll be making this shift dress using Ankara and it's going to be mix and match shift dress. It's going to have two pockets at the front so follow me as I explain how to go about it. So this is two yards fabric. That is two yards. I mean the green, red, yellow and the other one is not even up to a yard so it will be enough. I'm saying for a plus size okay so let's get started what I'm doing now is to take away the parts the edge because you wouldn't want it to appear in your Ankara you know what I'm saying and so the length I'm working with is 40 inches I'm working with length of 40 inches but I added 2 inches allowance to fold so that makes it 42 and what I'm going to do right now I'm going to measure the shoulder the shoulder of my client is um, it's 17 and I'm dividing by 2 it's 8.5 and I'm working with a sleeve length of 9.5 so that is what I did there okay then I want to mark the vertical lines now so I'm going to mark my the bust point the bust point is 11.5 okay and chest points you know how I get my chest line is the the bust is 45 so 45 divided by 6 plus 1.5 that gives me 9 okay that gives me nine so I'm just going to mark the chest point there which is nine but before that I want to mark my shoulder slant the shoulder slant is from that shoulder that, that neck point to that place I took one and a half inches downwards you can take two inches or one inch it depends on what you want to work with okay so but I took one and a half inches downward and I connected the slope so what I'm going to do now, I already explained it, that is my bust point, I marked the bust point which is 11.5, okay, and so I'm going to divide 45, that's the bust measurement, divided by 4, because it's in fold, and I'm adding 3 inches allowance to it, yes, and again, I took the hip measurement, the vertical line for the hip measurement is 28, so I'm working with the hip of 47 divided by 4 and my result I had a 3 inches, the 3 inches one is for sewing allowance and the other one is for the dress, you know it's not a tight dress, it has some allowance inside. That's the three inches I marked there. Okay, so there are many ways to go about this. Some take the bust measurement, the waist measurement, and the hip measurement and give it some shape. But what I did in this video at the long run, I realized that the difference between the bust and the hip are almost the same thing. Look at it, it's just like an half inch different. So I just decided to use the hip measurement all through. So from the bust or the relaxer from the chest line down to the to the full length, I just went with the hip measurement plus three inches. Okay. So now for the half hole, because it's, um, I'm cutting it with the hand, it's not a separate sleeve. Yeah, so I'm cutting it together. So I measured nine inches initially because that's the chest point but I realized that the sleeve is going to be quite small because of the shoulder slant and I'm still going to take some allowance so I started by two inches let me just say the bust line became the area where I put the sleeve do you understand what I just said so I'm just going to cut it away cut the excess to have my my clothes
for that neck allowance i use 3.5 inches because my client is chubby so i'm going to cut the neck width now and you know it's in two pieces front and back so, so that I won't make the mistake of cutting the same width so I had to separate the two so now I just want to cut the back and I'm going down with neck depth of 1.5 and I just curve it and I'm going to cut it out okay now I want to cut the front the front neck I'm going down with a depth of 5 initially I went with 4 but I realized that it could be tight because the back is high as well my client doesn't want v-neck she told me she wanted a rounded neck that's why I'm doing a round neck for her so if you are not using the curve you can use a free hand to cut it so you just put it in a box like that and get your curve you can measure one inch or one and you have about two inches from the center depending on what you want so i still went down with an inch because i realized that the neck depth for the front will still be quite low so that my client will be able to put on her dress comfortably so i went down with an inch I'm just going to fold that and keep it aside now the other Ankara fabric I want to use it for the pocket and to tape the sleeve just to add some beauty and a fizzy <laughs> to the Ankara dress so I'm going to cut two pockets together so I'm putting it on fold okay I'm going to double the fabric as well you will understand better when I'm almost done So my width is 8 inches and my length, that is the height of the pocket, is 9 inches. I wanted to go 8 by 8 before but I changed my mind to 9 by 8 so I worked with the height and all length of 9 inches and the width is 8 inches. Initially, I measured 8 inches, so I just added an inch to it now to make it 9 inches, 9 by 8 inches. So you are just going to cut it out. Don't forget we are cutting two pockets together. I just want to be sure of my measurements. You need to be sure of your measurements so that you won't make a mistake. So I've shared the pockets into two. I marked it so that I can version the back from the front because <laughs> the Ankara is all this original fabric. You may hardly know the front and the back if there is not taken. So I'm just going to mark like um, 18 inches downwards from the shoulder to place the pockets like so. I'm not saying yet, I'm just showing you an example of how the pocket is going to look on the fabric. So I took that aside and I want to measure the sleeve length so that I can cut out the Ankara that I want to use for that sleeve. So I measured 9.5 so I'm just going to multiply that by 2 because I'm going to join the other side of it and that's 19 so I'm going to cut out 19 inches. Uh, I want the width oh, to be 19 inches and the length to be 3 inches. It's going to be 2.5 inches but I had an extra allowance of half inch for the joining so everything will still fall back to 2.5 so that's the width of 19 I'm marking equidistance so that I can get a perfect line I wouldn't want my line to be slanted 
as they do that. So I have four boots sleeves. Alright, so now I'm just going to cut out the facing. You can use bias stripe to tape it for the finishing, but I just want to use facing for it since the fabric is left. So I placed my cutout fabric on the Ankara so that I can use it to cut the facing like so. It depends on how many inches you want, but mine is about three inches downwards. So I'm just going to place it like that and so on. And for the edge, you can either whip it or you use bias for it. I use bias because sewing, sewing a curvy edge is quite difficult and it cares not taking it to be neat. So I use bias for my edges when I get to some junctions. So I measured that so that I can have equidistance or will I say have the same um, length with the other facing. I wouldn't want one facing to be longer than the other. But for the back, I just decided to make it straight. I don't want a curvy edge. So I placed it to cut out the excess because like I said I want the front and the back facing to be the same so I'm just going to keep aside and arrange my fabric so that I can sew and show you how it looks can always ask your question in the comment section if you are not clear. So this is the facing I've used the bias stripe to tape the edges because I want a neat edge and I I notch my sewing because I want the neck to relax very well. Probably you've been wondering why we do notch sewing especially around the neck. It's because we want the neck to relax very well. Okay, I also top stitched it for neatness and um, also for the neck to relax properly of course i'm still going to give it a good press but while making the dress there was no light so i had to wait before i give it a good press so um i want us to sew the pockets now because it's easier sewing the pockets when we've not yet joined the front and the back okay so what i'm going to do now is um uh sewing the edges uh, i've sewn the edges and i left like two inches in the middle so that i can turn it around i sewn the other one too so i have my pockets so like i explained earlier i just measure 9 18 inches well i have length of sustain so i added two inches to it making 18 so i placed it on 18 I did the same to the other one I placed it. Now you want to make sure that the two of them are on the same line because you wouldn't want a rough work. So the sides, I just left 4-4 four, four inches by the sides because um, I just want, um, I don't want it to be too close to the edge. So I took 4-4 four, four inches from the side of the fabric. Don't forget to subscribe so that I can get updates and notifications when a new video drop. I appreciate my subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. 
I'm glad to have you here. So I just went ahead to mark the, um, like I said, the area or the place I I placed the pocket so that I can have an accurate position. You can also use pin to tack it down so that it won't shift on the sewing machine. But I just marked mine and I took it to the sewing machine. I've sewn it, I've made it and it's there. Now I want to do the facing for the back. For the back, I'm going to make the same show. I mean the, the why why I when I, I said I made the clothes the thread I made it show outside the fabric in fact I gave it two sewing two lines you know sometimes it can be decorative assuming the fabric is a plain fabric I mean assuming it's not a busy fabric you'll be able to see those lines properly properly okay now I'm just going to join the shoulders together I have done that our dress is making sense already okay I'm going to attach the sleeve that Ankara so it's going to be more like a turn up you understand so I'm just going to sew the edges like so I've done that and um, I'm going to turn and top stitch you know you should give it a good press make sure you iron it for neatness sake all right i've done that i've top stitched and i'm just going to close the sides of my cloth i've closed that it's meaning the down parts i need to turn it you know and so for that place i'm just going to iron felt it's called felt too and um, it's going to stay so that the neck will not be flying this is how I dress. It's so beautiful. Well, as at this time, the client has not worn the dress. Thank you.